Now this segment uh, deals with a whole new thing. Uh, I've been thinking some time of uh, motorizing my wheel so I could just let it run and just start swapping pops out. Now I'll, I'll speed it up for the video and you'll just see me just moving really fast. Just abnormally fast. Kind of like the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the letter shuffling at the beginning of the video of my videos. So but uh, now I hadn't planned on including this in my original video which I shot like a couple of months ago and I've been so busy at work that I haven't really I kind of haven't made the time because I've got about three hours worth of stuff I want to compress down to like 15 minutes or so but uh, here it is uh, I got a couple pieces in the, in the mail today or yesterday a couple days ago and I got one more on the way but it won't be here for a few days so we'll let's take a look and uh, well there's my drive motor it's pretty good sized kind of small but but okay that it's, it's kind of small for this table but they said it's a low speed high torque um, motor uh, 110 volt there's all the little do wakeies I got uh, hopefully instruction yeah there we go my little wiring diagram so I'll be good to go capacitor I think that's my capacitor right there so that's already on there Oh, clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, so make it go either direction. So that's very helpful. Okay, so what's going to drive this? I'm going to have a, a, I got some, uh, what do you call them? Um, 3D printer parts off of Amazon. One is a little gear. And let me find it. Here we go. The other is a belt, which I kind of thought was a little bigger than this. It just, I, I kept thinking it was like this big. They, they make pretty good sized, uh, really good sized, uh, what do you call them? Uh, 3D printers. So, but the but the little pulley that I'm using has little teeth on it, like 20, 20 tooth uh, pulley. Ah. Big enough. Yeah, you can kind of see the the, the, the little teeth, tooth belt. So, and the the edge of this. Uh, Turntable is rough enough. Hopefully it'll stay in place. If not, I got to put some little guides in there. Just a little. I'm not sure what exactly, but but it's all experimental. So we shall see. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's my turntable. As you know, like I say, the edges are fairly rough. So hopefully they'll stay in place. But I think this corner over here is the one. That's my midday medications and stuff. Um, this is where I'm going to put it. I want to put it way off to one side instead of right up next to it so the, the belt will have more of a chance of wrapping around the thing. If not, then an idler pulley, an idler, 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 ah, idler pulley, so it'll go like this and then wrap around and continue on. Okay, I about got it. Okay, let's see if I can thread this in there. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. That's it right there. Okay, now let me, let me bolt this down and give it a test run. Okay, got it all bolted down. There's only one hole that won't, uh, there's no wood underneath there. So I did watch and make sure I didn't uh, run the screw through the electrical wire. So <laughs> it should be good. Okay, let me turn this on. All right, so far so good. My biggest concern is the pulley lining up with the with this. Probably have to put some guides over here to uh, lift the belt up or down or whatever to make it uh, make it go on there. So, all right, let me see if I can put a belt together and see what happens. And here's my belt. I guess you see it's got the little teeth in there. And whether it's strong enough. I don't know. I guess we'll uh, guess we'll find out. Okay, kinda. You really can't see what's what's going on, but let me get this off of here. 
Um, first test to see if it'll pull it. I'll figure these little twist tie nubs out later. So <laughs> can you see the motor from there? It's right. Okay, yeah, there's the pulley. And the motor's back behind us. You can't really see it, but uh, if the table turns, then you'll know. <sighs> Holy crap, I think it's working. Now that's all the faster I expected it to move. The, 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 whoa. Okay, we, we, we've, we've slipped a tooth here or something. Okay, the, uh, well, I'm all crooked here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, well. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, it works to a degree. I need to figure this out. I think I need to, I might take these clothespins Okay, let me see if I can find something to do visually here. Um, okay, okay, here's the turntable, we'll say. And the belt is riding here, but it slips off. So I'm thinking, cut a piece of wood or maybe a little metal plate. Let me show you this over here. Okay, this without the elbow. Bolt it to the... Oh, Bolt it to the underside of it, just as a guide to keep the belt up on the up on the pull it, up on the turntable. Yeah, but I kind of think I can put the. I was going to say put the uh, the clothespins on there, put the, get the belt in place, and then take the clothespins off. Oh, it didn't stay on there because the. There's nothing guiding the belt to stay on the on the turntable on the edge of the turntable. But, but it can't catch either. I'm afraid the, the wood will will come around. Uh, I'm not not sure if I can do this accurately. <laughs> the, okay, when the, the the guide comes around, will will it, will it catch the belt, or will it go and make it and the belt slip off? I don't know. <sighs> More experiments, but it did turn the table. Now whether it will turn it with weight on it, we'll have to we'll have to see. Okay, let me get the, let me get this set up again and uh, give it another test. Oh, before I forget, yeah, I was, I was saying earlier about how slow the turntable was moving, and that's what I expected because okay, the idea is the the, the when I, when I do the pop tour videos. It'll move very, very slowly. So I got time to come in and take the other pop off, put this one in place. And, and what you'll see is it moving at normal speed and me, you know, zipping around in the background. So the turntable will move smoothly. And I'll be going, but, uh, but whether I got time to put all the, to go to the shelf, pull some pops, put a couple more down here as it's turning and then grab some more and take them off and put them over here. Or do I got to set them all up in advance so I can just sit right here and, and do them? I don't know. But uh, what I was saying, the, the, the motor is geared down to 27 revolutions per minute, 27 RPMs. So it'll go 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. That's all the faster it will go. And that's that's good because the, the me speeding up and the turntable moving normally is what I was shooting for. So... Uh, Okay, let me get the belt set up again, and uh, gotta have some kind of guide so the the belt will be guided onto the edge of the edge of the turntable. All right. Okay, here's something else that happened. The pulley, or the yeah, the pulley had come loose for some reason. Well, I didn't really tighten it down. I just took this little bit, and kind of finger tight it down. So we'll uh, have to deal with that too. So. Uh, more experimenting. Okay. Um, oh, it's some, something else that had, had occurred to me. The little uh, the splice with little bread ties around it. I'm not sure what that is, but like like twist ties. And uh, the, the, the side that goes against the table and the pulley don't stand out too much. 
but I'm worried about the belt hanging up on the idler pulley because they, they, they stick out quite a bit. So I'm thinking take a little piece of duct tape and wrap it around and the glue should hold it and the deck table, duct tape will just be extra power. But right now, I want to see if it'll continuously pull until the thing gets all the way around the to the uh, to the idler pulley. Let's see what happens. Why is this the, the idler pulley isn't where it usually is? Not sure what's going on with that, but uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let me, let me point down here. Yeah, the idler pulley's at the wrong angle. But the screw that I put in there is doing a pretty good job of keeping the belt up enough to stay on the uh, on the belt. Right. Uh, whoa! Crap, I didn't see what happened, but uh, the belt slipped up again. Oh well. Well, where'd my, where'd my, well, let me shut this off. Let me, let me see where, let me see where my splice wound up. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that, uh, well, it went almost a quarter of the way around, so. Okay, the first thing is going <laughs> to Okay, the first thing is going to be getting the belt to stay up. Now the idler pulley is going to be more fixed in place once I get it all set up. Right now it's just kind of half ha haphazardly on there. But uh it does turn the table now whether it turns with weight, hang on. The motor is not hot, not even warm. So but it's moving fast and it's just barely turning. It's the, the, like I said, the ad said it's a high torque, high torque uh, gear down. So once I get the belt thing figured out. Okay, so I'm all set up again. I put the spray glue where the little splices. You can see those little nubs I was talking about. But I do want to see how they go around the, the idler pulley. Now, how I got this set up, see how the belt goes this way and then all the way back this way so it wraps around the pulley real nice so that's what something I was shooting for so I think the placement of this is pretty spot on but here's the where's the screw there's a screw that was made for that for that hole right there so you can see it's kind of yeah kind of jerry-rigged in there so uh, let's uh, keep a close well, okay I want to keep a close eye on the, the belt if I could set the camera right here Oh, I just blocked the light. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, it seems to be tracking. Whoa, let me get the light so dark in there all of a sudden. See the screw? I don't know if it's doing any good. It seems to be holding the belt up okay. The belt is tracking. Let me, let me set this down. And there's the, the glue bottle about halfway across from the from the uh, pulley. I've also put my, my my drill on there. I'm not sure how good an idea that that is, but if it's going to pull some weight, I'm going I need to know it. And that little 3D printer belt seems to be working pretty good. my glue that's the splice over there but I want to see how well it goes across that pulley and I doubt it's gonna go it might twist and go back and I mean just to get the nubs to go around the pulley not sure how fast to speed this up so I don't know how fast the the rest of the uh, 
the video is going to be. So the, 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 some experimenting with that. I have to kind of eyeball it. But it's going all the way around and that the belt is tracking on the right in the middle. That's nice. But I kind of you kind of push the idler idler pulley around to get the wheel to kind of sit straight. That seems to do the trick. Now whether or not that splice goes around the pulley, that's gonna be another concern. And it's coming up. We can kind of check under here. The motor feels room temperature. It felt kind of cool before, now, but not really warm. Okay. Well, hang on. Let me get the light on. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I don't really need this flashlight. Okay, there's my splice. Let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Drum roll, please. And it's still tracking. Oh, what happened? Battery low, great. Cool. Holy crap, it worked. It did turn sideways like I thought it would. Oh, we just caught on the screw. I don't know if you can see that. But it's passed. Let me turn this back on. Oh! Okay, the belt is not sitting up like it should. Oh, we're losing it, we're losing it. Okay, I need to put something else down there because see the belt isn't going across the screw anymore. Whoa, and it just fell off. But that's uh, pretty good. I still still think I want to put the... Uh, put the... Whoa. I still want to put the duct tape on there because that um, the little twist ties were pretty disruptive. So there you go. I think I'm going to call it a day. That's that was pretty good. The uh, now the motor's starting to get a little warm. So uh, that drill is pretty heavy. So we'll uh, do some experimenting later. Right now I need to I need to pack it in. So, uh, all right, pretty successful. Like I say, the idler pulley's got to be nailed down properly so it's nice and solid so it's not twisting around and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, I think this is going to work. All right, so that's it for revamping the turntable part two. And uh, like I say, in part one, I just it was all about the, the, the lazy Susan mechanism, part two is all about the motor. And part three, some more improvements. Check it out. I'm Paul Waters. That's the Wood Factor. See you next time.